In this next section, we're going to talk about postulates and theorems and some theorems and postulates about parallel lines. A postulate is something that is just assumed to be true. And our corresponding angles postulate is one of those. If you have two parallel lines and it is cut by a transversal, then those pairs of corresponding angles are congruent. For example, if M is parallel to N, then one will have to equal five. They're corresponding and these two lines are parallel. Two will have to equal six, three equals seven, and four equals eight. The next three are theorems that can be proven by using the corresponding angles postulate. So if we have two parallel lines that are cut by a transversal, then the alternate interior angles are congruent. So three would be congruent to six and four would be congruent to five. The next theorem would be alternate exterior theorem. This would say that if you have two parallel lines that is cut by a transversal, this L line, then two would be congruent to seven and one would be congruent to eight. The last one would be same side interior angles theorem. And that would say that the same side interior angles are supplementary. Supplementary means it adds up to 180 degrees. And how I remember this is if I make a C and an S, C for complementary and S for supplementary, complementary you could make into a 90 degrees. Complementary angles add to 90 degrees. The S we can change into an 8 for 180 degrees. So supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. On example 3, I am going to prove that if we have two parallel lines, and we're cut by a transversal, this is the transversal. It's the line that cuts across two li other lines. Then the alternate interior angles are congruent. So first of all, it get we want to do a statements and reasons chart, and we want to write down the given. M is parallel to N. These two lines right next to each other mean parallel, and then for the reason we put that is just given. That's our first statement. And we are trying to get to prove angle three is congruent to angle six. Now I could say angle three is congruent to angle two because they are vertical angles. Then I can show that two and six have to be congruent. Those are congruent because they are corresponding angles and we can use the corresponding angles postulate. And since angle three is congruent to angle two and angle two is congruent to angle six, then angle three has to be congruent to angle six because of the transitive property. And we have proven that three has to be congruent to six. So this proves that if we have two parallel lines, then any pair of alternate interior angles are congruent. In example four, we have been given that M is congruent to N. So we're going to write our statements and reasons and put M is parallel to N. So that's always the first step of our proof. So I can say, Angle five is congruent to angle one. I can say angle eight is congruent to angle five because they are vertical angles. I can say angle five is congruent angle to angle one because they are corresponding angles. And since 8 is congruent to 5 and 5 is congruent to 1, angle 8 has to be congruent to angle 1 because of the transitive property.